Alright, hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic here, and today I will be making a tutorial on how to jailbreak your Apple TV running 4.3 or 4.2 with a program called Season Pass. Um, it will work on a Mac currently, no uh, Windows, but I'm sure they will release Windows eventually. This um, involves creating a custom IPSW with um, the program, and just to show you that what pro um, software it is running. General about and as you can see 4.2 and that is the current version and I'll just show you that by going to software update and your Apple TV is up to date so in order to do this um, you're going to need a couple programs the first program you're going to need is C I'm sorry you need a couple things the first thing you're going to need is obviously season pass the second thing is you're going to need a micro USB to plug into your computer and a plug into your back you're going to need your Apple remote and um, access to eventually and let's get started um, so like I said you're going to need access to an Apple remote a micro USB a Mac of some sort and a um, Apple TV so let us jump over here we will worry about the Apple TV in a minute so the first thing you're going to want to do is we're going to for download, link will be in the description, Season Pass. Let me just, I'm exporting a movie right now, but I'll push that out of the way. Um, so, Applications, and as you can see right there, Season Pass. I'll click on it. And unfortunately for 4.3 or 4.2 for Apple TV, it is a tethered boot or tethered jailbreak so you're gonna have to boot tethered whenever you want to um, run your device but if you leave yours plugged in um, like I do it's not gonna be an issue because it goes to sleep after a while but you can wake it up and that does not involve um, booting tethered that just involves um, clicking it and you should be good to go so um, you're gonna be greeted with a screen you're gonna wanna hit create IPSW and I'm actually gonna hit cancel because I have actually already um, downloaded this program and what it does I mean download the IPSW and what this does is that it will actually contact its own server and download the IPSW and create a custom firmware for itself um, so you don't have to do anything special or anything so once it has downloaded the IPSW and made the, uh, the custom raw firmware uh, come back and I will then show you the next step so let me open that back up all right, so we are now. It is now unzipping the IPSW and it is going to start pwning it. And while it's doing that, you, I will show you what you want to do with your Apple TV. So, if your Apple TV is connected to a power, power supply, at this time, you're gonna unplug it from the IP, um, HDMI cord. Unplug it from the power supply. Plug in your, um, I zoomed in, there we go, plug in your micro USB into your Mac, and you're going to want to plug it into the back, and the back power cord, power supply is located right underneath the HDMI, in case you did not notice that, and you're just going to want to slip it in, and you will know you had success because you will get a blinking white light. Alright, so at this point, your Apple TV will pop up in iTunes. Just at this time, you can exit out of iTunes. Make sure you're completely exited out of iTunes for this to work. And it is now doing f finishing up its um, creating of the custom P IPSW for your jailbreak. And I will come back when it is done so we can. Um, I would like to say one thing. Um, while it doesn't, it's not necessary to restore it to a custom, I mean, a, uh, a clean firmware, I like to restore before I do any uh, custom firmwares on my devices just so it makes it clean. Um, so if you would like to take that into consideration, just go get the uh, firmware 4.2 for Apple TV off the internet and just install it 
onto your device so you have a clean non-touch device especially if it is previously jailbroken on green poison what have or what have you not um so at this point you now have a connect us connect your device to usb and press and play the home button uh the home and play button are these two i mean the menu and play button are these two right here and what you're going to want to do is quite simple once it's connected you're going to want to hold the menu and play button for seven seconds so let's do this one two three four five six seven and we are holding alright so as you can see it has now found a device in DFU mode and you can now release the uh, home button and, I mean the menu and play button at this time we are now uploading the kernels and it is now going to restart your device in iTunes um, this is all going to be done automatically iTunes is opening and if a message popped up that said UI scripts disabled, you want to enable that at the very beginning of the jailbreak so it can do it automatically. Because it does it automatically. As you saw, I just selected the firmware. Uh, I guess at this time I will do a quick little uh, spiel. I am holding a $20 gift card for iTunes giveaway uh, open to anybody in the world. I'll just send you the code. I want to hit 800 subscribers by Friday. If I can do that, I will give away a $20 gift card to iTunes. If I can hit 850, it'll be 30. And if I can hit like a million, you know, that's not going to happen. I'll give away a 100. I don't know. But um, if you want to enter that contest, really simple. Just subscribe to my channel and you'll pretty much be done for that at that. And I will pick one winner. Um, also, if you'd like to win an iPad, check the uh, uh, check the link in the description that will say you want to win an iPad and or iPod Touch, and you get enter to win a iPod Touch or iPad just by doing a few simple steps. All right. So as you can see, it is now restoring the Apple TV firmware. Um, I will come back when it's done restoring, and I will show you how to boot Tethered. Alright, so as you can see, it says Apple TV has been restored successfully. What you're going to want to do is now completely exit out of iTunes again. And we're going to want to reopen Season Pass, and you're going to want to boot Tether. In order to do this, the first step is you're going to want to unconnect your device for a brief second, just so it can register. And now we're going to want to plug it back in. And let me put the camera down. And now, what you're going to want to do when you put it on the computer is take your device and you're going to want to hit boot tethered on your uh, screen. I'll show you that. Just, you want it to look like that. Focus. Oh, there we go. And it should be looking for DFU. Now you're going to want to take your power supply. And we're just going to put it into the Apple TV. You can put the Apple TV back down now. And we are now going to hold the pause and play button for 7 seconds again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright, so now as you can see, it found a device in DFU mode, and it is now uploading the um, kernels and whatnot to boot it tethered. Alright, so at this point, you want to disconnect your USB, not your power. If you disconnect your power, you have to boot tethered again. So we'll disconnect our USB, we'll throw that over on the bed. I will load up my Apple TV and show you the final result. And all right, so as you can see, here is the Apple TV interface. Um, 
and I will show you what has been added. So as you can see, everything is the same until you get over here, and we now have the ability to access MLB.TV NBA and the NBA. Um, so we'll just click NBA, and this is going to give you games and whatnot. And same with the MLB, you'll get live, you'll get um, live scores. So as you can see, the Celtics are currently losing to the New York Knights. I don't know basketball for shit. Um, I'm more of a hockey guy. And 14 to 12. So that's pretty cool. And then you can go over to computer, turn your home sharing on, and settings, and you can just change it around. Um, so guys, that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is currently a tethered jailbreak, so keep that in mind if you're going to do this. Uh, if you're interested in what, any of those contests, link will be in the description, or if you click on the screen right now, you will be directed to uh, the iTunes gift cards. But guys, Rebel Fanatics, me saying peace, and I'll see you in a couple weeks.